Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. Rain is likely off and on, not 24 seven, but enough to impact you here and there. We'll start at 40, end up near 50 degrees with every once in a while a pocket of heavier rain moving on through. So now let's talk a little farther in time. This is now picking up where we just left off 6 p.m. on Tuesday and look at the southerly winds that will start to pick up. So it'll be kind of a windy afternoon coming through. This is now Wednesday at midnight. Still an impact day for you because we're going to see several rounds of rain moving through. Even a couple thunderstorms a possibility. This is six in the morning on Wednesday. Thinking it's over. Mm -mm. Another bound of our band that is of showers and thunderstorms rolling through by nine. That'll be lifting in as well. So it's going to take some time actually for this whole system to move out. And that's why I think that some of the rainfall amounts could be fairly impressive. I think every bit of an inch to an inch and a half for some, but as you see here, it'll be pretty widespread all across the region, all the way from the Iowa state line farther down toward Arkansas and out west into most of Kansas. Farther to the northwest, it'll be a blizzard, just not here. Here's a look at the impact days for you. Tuesday, Wednesday, we already outlined. Thursday, some showers left over. Take notice of the temperatures. Fairly warm tomorrow, 51, about normal. 64 on Wednesday, and then back down to 45 with showers on Thursday. Hopefully, it'll clear out for the sporting game. Then it dries out and stays cool with 40s turning into 50s on St. Patrick's Day, but for the lineup, kind of chilly. Back to the 50s during the daytime. Thereafter, Monday through Wednesday of next week.